Tulip, this is not that kind of video. You can't be showing your leg like that, ma'am. Hello everybody, my name is Simply Valkata. In this video, I'm going to be doing a pick a card for messages that you need to hear right now. So this could be pertaining to love, this could be pertaining to relationships, of it platonic or romantic, this could just be pertaining to just the overall of how some advice on how to just make it through your current situation right now. Right? So if that sounds like it would be of interest to you, then keep on watching. All right, everybody. So like with any other pick a card, I, what I want you guys to do for you to pick your pile is to close your eyes and to take three deep breaths in and three deep breaths out. And after you take your third breath out, I want you to open your eyes then and whatever pile is calling to you the most, not your favorite stone, but whatever pile is calling to you the most, whichever pile that you first looked at after you opened your eyes, whichever pile just makes the most sense, whichever number makes the most sense out of one through four. That is the pile that is going to be meant for you. Some of you may feel called to more than one pile. That is perfectly okay. Then at that point, I ask you to rely on your intuition to figure out which cards in both of the piles are meant to be for you. And yeah, once you guys figure out your pile and pick your pile i will always leave in the timestamps down in the, the description box and in the pinned comments down below for you to go to your timestamp for your pile so we can get straight to your reading so let's go guys all right people who chose pile number one let's just get right into your reading right now laying out all your cards currently so definitely we have a lot of good cards right now especially with your moon cards and just how they're currently lining up so I'm already really excited to see what messages we are going to be getting for you guys in pile number one. So let's see, how do I even want to start this off? Do we want to start with the good or do we want to start off with some of the uh, chastising that Spirit's trying to give us right now for people in pile number one? Mm, I feel like I want to start, we'll start, we'll start with the good. So. What I want to first start out with is the blue moon. I feel like the blue moon is really going to be the main message for you guys. And this is talking about believing in the impossible. You know, with the rest of these cards and the messages that this has for you guys, this is, I feel like, going to be the, like, the necessary thing for you guys to really shift out of this mindset that you might currently be in right now. Or you might be being, might be, be, <laughs> hello? You might be put into a situation soon where you're going, emotions are going to be running high right now. So the blue moon is the message from your spirit guides, message from the universe of just letting you know, just being like, hey, believe in the impossible. It may not feel like things are going to be working out in your favor. It may not feel like things are panning out right now for you, but just trust in the, trust in the impossible right now. I can't apparently even speak, but trust in the impossible. Trust in the process of everything. You, you may not make sense to you right now, but you're, that's not your job to make sense of things. Your job is to just make it out on the other side. doesn't matter how battered you look at the end of it. doesn't matter, you know, what happened during that middle part, you know, it's just what matters is that you went through it and you made it out on the other side side which you guys absolutely are right because we have the new moon in Sagittarius which is talking about the luck is on your side and also with the new moon in Taurus talking about prosperity lying ahead and so like this is what I was talking about early like just before where I was talking about how like your moon cards are just lining up so beautifully together because it's like uh when you have the belief in the impossible and then you just say like this card is kind of amplifying this the the new moon in such a terror is talking about how luck is on your side you know this is quite literally telling you that it's just like you need to believe in the impossible you know like not not to say that you guys are going to be winning the lottery but i always like to speak in analogies and so you know it may not seem like a plausible thing for you to like expect yourself to potentially win the lottery but like when luck is on your side the the impossible starts feeling a little bit more possible right things start just really working out in an unexplainable way maybe you just like wake up the next day and just like something really impactful just alters your life and so maybe if you guys aren't currently going through it right now i feel like this is coming up for you for you guys and so that is why um I, I really just want to emphasize the believing in the impossible and with the prosperity lying ahead you know when it talks about prosperity this could be prosperity in terms of your financial wealth this could be prosperity in terms of romantic if you're searching for love right now um whatever was coming to mind first whenever you were picking this pile this is what's probably really going to be pertaining to um uh, but yeah prosperity lying ahead this is just like another positive sign for you of just letting you know it's just like hey luck is on your side things are really going to you're going to really start reaping the benefits of things right 
but you also need to be bold and make the first move. You need to not wait for the lottery to come to you. You need to actively put yourself in a position, put yourself in the place of where you could win the lottery. So whatever that lottery means to you, if you feel like you need to do a career advancement or a changing career rather, or if you want to have a career advancement, you need to put yourself in that kind of situation. You need to set yourself up in a way of where you can get that career advancement. You know, it's not going to just lay um fall up down on in front of your feet apparently i cannot talk right now i apologize to you guys but yeah it's, what the universe is trying to say is like while you may be lucky while the impossible is going to happen to you while it's going to be such a positive time for you guys it's not going to just come at you at your feet you still have to work for it you know, and this is where we're going to start really getting into the chastising part. But uh, I don't want you guys to take this next section as something as a negative. This is kind of like spirit trying to help you put yourself in this position to be prosperous, to receive the luck, to receive the prosperity, right? So I'm going to really first start touching on the Queen of Cups because the Queen of Cups really represents being in touch with your emotions. This is like the advice that spirit's trying to help you with and like i feel like it's really going to be like an emotional matter for you guys and something it's funny enough this comes up because i actually read a quote uh just earlier today where it was in essence saying that you can tell someone to screw off tomorrow and what really what this means is that you you know if you're mad right now don't speak out of anger or if you're put in a situation where emotions are really running high don't react in that moment. Allow things to settle out, allow things to really, you know, allow the dust to settle so you can really see things for how they are because, you know, when you are going to be bold and make that first move and, you know, it's it's going to, you have, you're going to, it's like, at, like, as I said, it's not going to just come at you in front of you. You're going to have to work for it. And so by working for it, you're going to have deal with some obstacles. And just because those obstacles are coming to you, you don't want to come at it from a place of frustration. You want to come at it from a place of just like, okay, like Velka talked about this. Like I'm already prepared for this. I know this is just testing me. This is like the fine, one of the final obstacles for me to get to through on the other side, you know, it doesn't matter if this person's pissing me off. It doesn't matter if my coworkers trying to sabotage me right now because I know my story gets better and that's something I really want to emphasize for you guys is that your story definitely gets better but you still want to set yourself up for that story to get better right so going further into this we have the ace of cups and the ace of cups I feel like kind of is talking about your mental space during this time of when you're going to be challenged you know this is going to be a time of where like this obstacle potentially may i highly doubt you guys will really go through this now that that you are receiving this reading you're going to be really prepared for it so that makes me really happy and fulfilled to know that i'm going to be able to help a lot of you guys out in this regard so you can really get to your prosper prosperity um but with the ace of cups in inverted rather i didn't even mention that it was inverted um this really signifies that you're in a way, it's just kind of like out of touch in a way, but let me explain a little bit more. So it's just like, if you're in a point of feeling frustration, this is the, um, you know, when you're trying to calm yourself down or um, while you're dealing with these obstacles, you may f uh, lose sight uh, or like forget like the messages that you got from this reading, perhaps, or like you may just start getting a little bit out of touch with spirit. Maybe I feel like some of you guys in pile number one are heavily into spirit work, or maybe you guys are doing spirit work professionally. Um, and that's just like, or maybe that's like your side hustle or regardless, I just feel like spirit is like you guys in pound number one have like a fairly heavy connection with spirit. And so, but you guys might have the habit of when you're really dealing with some high stress situations or situations that really make you emotional, that's when you're the most disconnected from spirit. And so that's why the Ace of Cups is put into place and in, for spirit to let you know that it's just like, hey, we're still here. If you're feeling lost, if you're feeling frustrated, like you call on to us, right? Because we have the King of Coins and this is also inverted. And the King of Coins, this is again, talking about, this is like the representation of, um, you know, when you think of coins, you think of this as usually talking about like finances and career and stuff like that. But in this regard and how your spread is formatted, this is more so talking about like uh, spiritually and emotionally as well. So it's just like, 
you know, it's, this really kind of represents spiritual po poverty. And so this is such a heavy emphasis for you guys to really, these two cards is such a heavy emphasis to important time for you guys to, in order for you to really get to your prosperity, to have a healthy communication with spirit because spirit's going to really help guide you along even dealing with these obstacles because these obstacles that are put into your life they are here to teach you something they're here to set you up they're here to help you create a sacred space going into the panda card because the panda card talks about creating a sacred space for yourself in your home and or workplace so when you think of a sacred space this is like for some of you guys maybe this is a time for you to do like a spring cleaning or maybe even though we're in summer right now while i'm doing this reading but <laughs> for this this is kind of like this for some of you guys in may just be pertaining to just cleaning up your work spot or cleaning up like your room and to really just you know clear out clear the clutter but when we when the the key word here that i want you guys to pay attention to is the sacred part and because of how your guys spread currently is when it's with such an emphasis on spirit <laughs> you know um this is really just such a time for you guys to make it a point maybe for for the panda card maybe this is a time for you to build an altar maybe look up some crystal grids uh, you know so if it's like for example like if someone if you came into this reading in pile number one and you're searching for some insight on relationships or you're searching for insight on um work you know you want to create a grid for that create a grid for abundance create a grid for wealth or create get some rose quartz and create a grid for love you know again like this is like as i was saying before like you have prosperity coming to you believe in the impossible you have the luck but you still have to be bold and make the first move because it's not going to just come to you without you putting in the work for it to happen um and so for you guys this final card we have the um the king of wands inverted as well and the king of wands really represents as well of um just like lack of attention and so this may be like a chaotic time for you guys i really do feel like for you guys in pile number one you guys are going to be put and i keep getting like one so either like in a month's time maybe like in a week's time maybe even in, in, in like a day's time from you receiving this reading i feel like this is that's going to be the either the start of this obstacle or that's going to be the length of time so maybe during like whatever month that you're get receiving this reading that during that month that is when you're going to be dealing with this obstacle and the uh the king of wands is just such a emphasis on you paying attention to the details paying attention to being like you know what simply velka talked about this simply velka told me i don't why am i referring to myself as simply velka still velka told me about this you know i know this is an obstacle i know this is here to teach me something so this really helps you come from a place of preparation i guess this really helps you have a better approach to things and so that's really this overall message that i have for you guys in pile number one is that like keep yourself in check keep your emotional in check you guys are so close to whatever it is that you're trying to uh manifest to you right now you know if you guys do like your manifestation rituals or you're, like you have a vision board or you like you write in your journal what it is that you want or there's just like uh something that you've just been putting such a heavy emphasis on right now and you really have been putting all your energy into this you guys are so close i promise you you know believe in the impossible it may not feel like um your current situation is setting you yourself up in a way of where you're going to have this uh prosperity but you need to just trust the process you need to just make it in that final stretch be bold Bold and make that first move because this first move is also going to be your final move in this last phase in your life of where you start the next phase of your life with this prosperity so yeah you know just really good cards for you guys and so again that's what i meant when i said like it's the chastising part it's not really a negative it's just the universe really trying to help you come at this coming month for you guys i feel like heavily like just month is just constantly coming in my head for like the month that you guys are dealing with this or just during the month that you're receiving this reading just keep your keep your mental in check keep your emotional in check you're so prepared for this it may feel overwhelming but you know when you believe in the impossible when you acknowledge that luck is on your side when you know that prosperity is coming to you you can come at it a much healthier mindset and that's not me trying to imply that you guys don't have a healthy mindset but when you guys are in like or when anyone is dealing with a chaotic situation you know in the moment you're not no one ever like thinks grounded and that's why i feel felt inspired to share the quote with you guys is saying that you can tell someone to screw off later you know it doesn't matter right now you don't react right now remember where it is that you're trying to go see these people as um your obstacle 
and be able to laugh it off, be able to come at it from a healthy approach and to just keep it mo going. You know, if you need to be grounded can, or um, to have a better perspective, create that sacred sp space, create that grid, create that altar. So that way you can connect to spirit easier. That way you can really just use all the tools in your toolbox, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's the overall message that I have for you guys in pile number one. I hope this reading resonated with you and really gives you some clarity, a sense of direction, and just helps you overall feel better for whatever it is that you're going through right now or what is going to be to come because you guys totally have this, you know? And so yeah, I really hope this did resonate with you guys. Please let me know what it is that you're actively trying to manifest right now in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. And if it did resonate with you, please give me a like and subscribe because it really does help me out so much but until next time you guys i love you so much bye hello people in pile number two i'm going to just jump into our reading right now and see what messages the universe has for you guys and that you need to hear right now so laying out your cards currently what i'm really getting is just the urge like i keep seeing like the nike check mark in my brain right now <laughs> and you know if you're not familiar with the nike check mark and like they're saying it's really telling you to just do it i feel like that's going to be such a yep such a heavy emphasis on that because we have the ace of wands and the ace of wands is just really telling you to just do it and we pair it with the four of cups you know the four of cups this talks about like take the downtime if you feel like you need the downtime but i feel like you guys don't really need the downtime i feel like you guys have already had enough downtime but maybe like the downtime that you have had you always felt guilty about it and so when during your restful time it's not really restful because you're just so stressed out and or you like feel guilt or you feel bad for taking this restful time and so take that restful weekend you know but keep remind yourself and be like with the ace of wands and just being like you know you just need to do it um and so con continuing on with you guys' reading i want to touch on the um eight of swords the eight of swords really represents like Whatever situation you guys are in right now or what is coming to you, it may feel like you're trapped or you may feel like you're trapped right now and that like you're stuck in this kind of crappy situation that you're so, that you feel so out of control of. And the Eight of Swords represents us like, you're not out of control of it. It seems scary right now because you're around a bunch of swords and you don't know where to go. You may feel trapped, but you just need to cha have a change of perspective. You need to just alter your thinking completely and come at it from a different approach. And this card really signifies that you are in power of it. You just need to do it. You know, I'm going to keep on referencing the Ace of Wands because this is such a heavy emphasis on like you guys just needing to continue on, you know? Um, we have the first quarter moon, which is talking about your commitment is being tested, but also such a beautiful thing as well, because we have the full moon in Capricorn and these two cards, you know, going first talking about the first quarter moon, talking about your commitment is being tested. Um, and the end, uh, and the full moon in Capricorn talking about the end of a tough cycle or approaching. This to me is showing me that like this last you're, you guys are at the final stretch. I feel like this is a heavy theme for a lot of people right now, is that you guys are at a final, the final stretch of being tested. And so this last test, you know, you know, at the end of the year when you're at school, like the last test is notoriously known to be like, to test you and to really test you for everything that you learned throughout the year. So this is going to be arguably your most trying test. And if you make it out, that is when things are going to really start working out in your favor. You know, and I want you guys, I want to let you guys know, like during this time of where you guys feel trapped and you don't like, and you just, you know, are you just so frustrated and you just don't know what to do. And like, you're afraid of just doing it because you don't know the outcome, you don't know how things are going to work out because we do have the Knight of Coins and the Knight of Coins inverted really represents just being super cautious and not really wanting to take a move because you don't know how it's going to pan out. You're scared of it not working out. You're scared of like having all your plates fall if you do the wrong move. And really the beautiful thing is we have the full moon in Aquarius for you guys, which is talking about the sh um, showing the world the real you, but also the full moon in Libra, a win-win is in forecast. And so what this really represents to me for you guys in pal number two is that this is meant for you guys. This is really like, you can't go wrong with you just doing it. What, regardless of how it's going to pan out for you guys, or regardless of whatever the situation is and whatever decision that you make, as long as you are coming at it from a place that is your most authentic, that is honoring your most authentic self, that is honoring like how you truly feel, it's going to work out. You are, you can't go wrong with it at all. 
you know and i feel like maybe that's partially why you guys have been like sitting at this tree and just not taking this downtime because you just feel so frustrated you feel so trapped and you're just like just taking this time and you're just like i don't know what the next right move is right because and you're and you're so scared of making the next move because you don't want things to fall like you feel like i feel like a lot of you guys in panel number two you know you guys are so close to the finish line but like you guys are just, so that's why you guys are so scared of making that final move. You're so scared of really putting yourself out there and just doing it. And this is such a beautiful thing with how these cards are lining up for you guys in pile number two, because it's like we have the full moon and an eclipse talking about conclusions are within reach. So yeah, this is such an, another affirmation to me that it's like you guys are just in your last stretch of a really trying time before you really start reaping the benefits of things coming to you. A very straightforward reading for you guys, you know, like, I don't really know how, like, I wish I could give you guys like a different message or like more of a message in this regard. But for you guys, like, regardless of whatever the situation is, if you're like wanting to like, pursue somebody and you're just afraid that like they're that they're out of your league or whatever just do it you know <laughs> like stop worrying about how the outcome is if you're wanting to do a project and you just are afraid of it like falling flat on your face just do it you know, we have the ch chimpanzee card talking about using both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem and c to get your answers. And so you guys are extremely intelligent people. You guys, I feel like, you know, you guys aren't giving yourself enough credit right now. Maybe, and this is maybe partially because of the fact that like, you, you know you're so close to your outcome that you just don't want to mess it up. And so at this point, you're kind of doubting your skills a little bit or maybe feel like you're not quite ready. But you have to remind yourself, you got to this point already, you know? You already did all the lessons throughout the year. You did the pop quizzes throughout the year and you've managed to get to this point at the end. You know, you would not be taking this final test if you did not pass every other test before this in this chapter in your life. And so that's something I really want to remind you guys of is that you guys are extremely intelligent. You guys are extremely talented, you know, just because these swords, where's, where's y'all swords card? <laughs> just because you guys are surrounded by these swords right now and it seems extremely intimidating and it seem, seems extremely hard and like you don't like that it could just like you feel like one wrong move or you like one wrong step and you just step on an eggshell or something or like everything falls apart. Like I can understand the cautiousness and I know it's easier said than done, especially when I'm like, speaking as a spectator but like i really want you guys to also remember like the full moon and libra talking about it's going to be like you can't go wrong trust in you guys trust you guys's intelligence as long as you are coming from your most authentic genuine self you're not going to be strained you're not going to stray off the path you're not going to fall flat on your face spirit won't allow you allow that to happen you know trust in your intelligence trust in your ability Remind yourself that conclusions are with are within reach, as the full moon eclipse saying is saying. You know, like the conclusion that isn't within reach, like doesn't matter like what that conclusion is because it's going to bet be a betterment for you guys. And so I feel like that's what you guys really needed in pile number two is just that extra push and just let like me really just being the conduit of letting you guys know uh, and like speaking from from spirit to let you know that it's just like hey remind yourself of who you truly are you guys are you know you guys totally have this i know it seems scary for you guys right now i know you guys just don't want to make the wrong move because you feel like it'll just all crash around you and like you'll take 10 steps back and you're going to regress in your life but that's truly not the case you guys um you guys truly just have this and so that's the messages that i have for you guys in pal number two if this reading did resonate with you please let me know in the comments below what is it that you guys are working on actually like do you guys have like a project are you guys pursuing somebody are you guys like what is it that you guys are doing i would love to hear about in the comments below because i am a little bit nosy on this actually and so please let me know in the comments below and if this reading did resonate with you guys i would love for you guys to give me a like and subscribe because it really does help me out so much but until next time you guys bye all right hello everybody in pound number three so let's just get right into your reading right now i'm going to lay out your cards definitely a time like ooh. I know that's not something you guys want to hear when from your tarot reader when you <laughs> they are like ooh. I usually am like very mindful of like my reactions whenever I'm looking at these cards for the first time. But this is such an interesting spread for you guys because mm, Okay, yeah, no. This is such a positive thing actually. Why am I overthinking this for you guys? Yeah. So 
Hmm, what card do I, I'm gonna start with the Wheel of Fortune card. The Wheel of Fortune card, like this is, like this card is here, the universe trying, universe trying to remind you of who the heck you are. I feel like you guys in panel number three, you guys need this reminder of just being like, hey, <laughs> you guys are such beautiful, like strong, pe strong willed people. And I know you guys may be exhausted right now because when I was connecting with this energy, even right now, when I'm connecting to this energy with this reading, I just feel such a heavy exhaustion. Like my shoulders are just kind of slumped. And it's just like, wow, you guys may know that you guys are talented. You guys may know that you guys are hard workers. New Moon and Capricorn talking about how that your hard work is paying off. Like, I feel like you guys know of your ability, but it's just like, you guys are just tired. You're ready for your greatness. You're ready for your abundance. You're ready to start reaping the benefits of all this hard work that you're you're doing and so the new moon and capricorn paired with the wheel of fortune this is letting you know it's like one you can't really go wrong with your next step you can't go wrong with continuing going forward this is i want you guys to know that you guys are absolutely on the right path so if you guys in panel number three if some of you guys have been wondering if you are on the right path right now if you are making the right decisions meant for your life right now i want you to take this reading as a sign that's like yes you absolutely are this everything happens for a reason i know that sounds so corny and i usually try to avoid corny sayings just because it's like <laughs> i feel like it has no meaning but like absolutely apparently miss tulip has some things to say to y'all too but yeah like you guys are in complete power. I want you guys to know, just like square up your shoulders a little bit and just really start tapping into that final source of energy for you guys. Because we have the unicorn card and this is talking about indulging your creative, imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression. I feel like for you guys, if you're since like, I feel like a lot of you guys in that pile number three are just like, tired and exhausted <laughs> i feel like you guys need to do a little bit of a creative outlet right now i feel like um you guys need to really explore yourselves a little bit instead of being so on all the time instead of just like i feel like a lot of you guys in pile number three are kind of like workaholics maybe that's why i'm just feeling just so tired is that you guys are just workaholics and i'm mistranslating the energy of what i'm feeling but like yeah there's such a heavy emphasis from, from spirit to tap into your creative side tap into finding a way to express yourself more maybe this what this card is a representation of like that's what you guys have been working on is some creative outlet as well. Maybe that's what it me pertains to for some of you guys. But I really just do, uh, as a side note, want to say that like, I really do suggest for you guys to take a moment's rest. You know, like this is such a chaotic time, right? For you guys right now, or I feel like it is coming to you if you aren't feeling like you're in a chaotic time somehow, <laughs> which lucky for you guys, I guess. But with the eight of wands, this is a sign of like chaos and like also a sign of delays. I feel like, no, I feel like you guys are all, like a lot of you guys in panel number three are already like kind of like going through it and maybe you guys are kind of frustrated because maybe like your creative projects have there's been like some delays you know maybe like the um hard work that you've been doing like you haven't been reaping the benefits of it because of these delays because that's what the eight of wands really represents is like some chaos and some delays. And so also um, we have the five of swords. So like, I feel like these, these cards are all like pairing together in such a way of how like explaining why your guys' energy is the way it is right now. So I feel like you guys know, like you guys are hard workers. And so you guys have maybe have been telling yourselves that like, it's like, hey, it'll pay off soon. You Maybe you guys already know like your hard work is going to pay off at some point, but sometimes it's just nice to receive the affirmation from spirit or from a tarot reader like myself from a card to let you know that from an outside point of view that it's not just you knowing like giving you the affirmation you know i can understand this and resonate with it so much you know when you're when you have to be your biggest fan for especially when it comes to creative outlets or creative projects um that's stuff that's not going to like give you that instant gratification yet it has to kind of like by do its time it has to like bide its time a little bit i feel like for you guys in pile number three like there's because of the, there has been some delays and maybe there's been a lot of delays for you guys maybe you guys are just for like months now it's just like okay like you keep on doing it. it's just like okay like when is it gonna pay off you guys like <laughs> You know, it's getting hard for you to really motivate yourself. And so, yeah, I really want, like, I really want to let you guys know that things are going to come start coming into fruition for you guys. Because with the Four of Swords as well, I feel like there's a level of, like, almost obsession with trying to get this project to pay out, trying to have this 
uh, your crops to really give you something to really start growing the vegetables and fruits that you've been working so hard on and they just haven't been fr uh, bearing fruit until like until right now like or it hasn't been right now and you just are so frustrated because you just don't know how many more times that you have to tend to the, your garden each day before it finally starts growing before it finally starts bearing fruits and vegetables for yourself and so what spirit is really trying to say is like first and foremost before i get, get into those two cards which you guys can't see but with the full moon talking about surrendering to the to the divine this is such a i know it's such a frustrating thing and i know it's so hard to really like it requires a lot of trust to trust in something that you can't like just see that you can't just tangibly that's not tangible that you can't just like touch right like how you're seeing me in the screen right now or how you're able to talk to like your roommate or your friend or your family or whatever it's very hard to give trust into the divine when you can't see it and so but for you guys i feel like this is because you guys are just feeling so like drained for some of you guys in pal number three i feel like you guys if you're feeling drained or like you're feeling defeated this is the time for you to hold on to the brakes stop being such a workaholic and just trust the process it's such a hard thing but you know think about where the term faith comes from you can't you can't have faith in something you don't have faith in something when you're able to just see it for yourself you know you don't have faith that the sky is blue because you can go out and check it and know for a fact that it is blue you can fact check it in that moment if you want to watch somebody watch the time you go to check the sky and it's actually not blue for my example but that's just an analogy but when you have faith in something you have faith in it even if you can't prove it and that's where faith really comes in again i know it's easier said than done but <laughs> coming from someone that has really actively practiced faith like i feel like my life is really the representation of faith you know just really trusting the process trusting in the divine like i've every single time that i've really trusted the divine and really let go and allowed the divine to be in the driver's seat and i just be in the passenger seat not back seat driving either just allowing the divine to take its course that is when everything's beautiful starts happening because we have the new moon which is talking and the new moon itself talks about the representation of a new start a new and this that's what this card says is the new start is coming for you guys so this is a beautiful affirmation card also paired with it with the full moon in gemini the answers you need are coming so these are two cards well really three cards because we have the new moon in capricorn talking about your hard work is paying off so three moon cards talking about how Things are coming to fruition for you guys. Your crops are really going to start growing and bearing the fruits and vegetables that it needs. Am I using that properly? Do crops bear fruit and vegetables? I know trees bear fruit, but do, like, can... I don't know. It doesn't matter. Y'all understand what I'm trying to say, though. Like, you have three different cards repeating the same message. And I always say this with when it comes to tarot, when tarot starts repeating itself, that's a good thing. You know, it's sometimes can feel frustrating when, like, you don't ever want to deal with someone just repeating themselves because you want to get the most out of the message. But the thing is, when t spirit is constantly picking out cards to really reaffirm a message, like especially when you have it like three different cards pointing it out that is something that that is spirit trying to really give you emphasis on that is something that spirit's trying to remove that skepticism you know it's very easy to kind of like potentially be a skeptic and be like oh well maybe like the abundance card wasn't meant for me because there's only just one card no no doll like baby <laughs> like when you have three different cards all of you guys in pile number three as well i feel like also i feel really inclined to ask you guys to look up the number three and the significance of number three in numerology because you know you guys are pile number three these three cards even when i was talking about it i kept i want i was not going to mention and suggest to you guys to look up the number three in the numerology but when i like it just clicked to me that you guys are pal number three and it's like wait a minute i need to i need to say something and also something i wanted to say is like for every other pile i have three tarot i have four tarot cards for every other pile but for pile number three which i just now realized again this was not intentional i promise you um three like you guys instead only have three cards and i originally i remember when i was shuffling i was going to i had a fourth card here and when i was looking at the fourth card i was just like mm, like it doesn't it just wasn't resonating and so yeah you have three different <laughs> things examples talking about the number three like do you see what i'm saying like just the layers of this you know so i really want to emphasize and ask you guys to look up the numerology 
of three, you know? Three is my favorite number, and that maybe that's why I like really noticed it for you guys. Um, but yeah, I really suggest for you guys to look it up and just really trust the process. Really, like, I know, I know, I know, it's so much easier for me to just say surrender to the divine. But like truly, when you start instead, when you stop trying to tell the universe how to drive, when you stop trying to tell the universe where you feel like you need to go, and you just start going with the flow, when you start just allowing the universe to drive and take you where you need to go, that is when the answers that you need are going to be coming. That is when your new start is going to come, and then your new start is going to be beautiful. With the Wheel of Fortune card, I just want to remind you guys, like the Wheel of Fortune card is such a positive card. Like things are going to work out so beautifully for you guys, and so don't feel defeated. Don't give up, you guys. I know you guys are tired. I know you guys are so <sighs> tired and just frustrated with putting in all this work and not feeling like you're getting any benefit from it and it feels like you're just wasting your energy, but you guys are absolutely not, I promise you. Just trust the process. You guys are so close. Just, you know, stop fighting the universe. Stop, you know, you know, just allow things to happen and just go with the flow. Practice faith, you know, practice faith. But yeah, that is the messages that I have for you guys in pile number three. I really hope that you guys do look up the number three. I'm going to keep bugging you guys on that because I feel like some of you guys aren't, haven't done it yet. And I really want you guys to. I truly feel like looking up and researching the numerology for the number three is going to be really beneficial for you guys. So please, please do it for me. Just for me, you guys. I feel like it's going to make you a lot feel a lot better. But um, yeah, that is messages that I have for you guys in pile number three. I really hope this gives you guys a sense of clarity and just a sense of direction. And if this reading did resonate with you, please let me know in the comments below. And also please let me know <laughs> that you looked up the number three. I would love to hear about it in the comments and to let me know like what you got from researching the number three. And maybe we can have a conversation on it because again, the number three is my favorite number. So I can talk about it, but I want to first have you guys do your own research on it and to really flesh it out and really understand what the number three represents and how it could pertain in your life. But if this reading did resonate for you guys please give me a like and subscribe because it really does help me out so much but until next time you guys bye hello people in pile number four i'm going to just jump into our reading right now and see what the messages the universe has for us right now so currently okay Ooh, we have the lovers card and we have the high priestess okay y'all have some bold cards all right so which card do I even want to start with? I guess I can start with the High Priestess card because the High Priestess card, this talks about intuition. So I feel like a lot of you guys in pile number four, you guys are, uh, you guys have a strong intuition, which I feel like one, like you guys don't need to tell me that, but also with the High Priestess card, I want you guys to also pay attention to your intuition at this time. That's how the universe is going to have communicate with you guys is through your intuition um i feel like for you guys in pile number four you guys are really like the main theme of this reading for you guys is going to be the constant question from the waning moon what is it that you need to release this is going to be a time of really releasing things and this is um such a beautiful thing because you guys are in essence making space and this is very much so like a spring cleaning energy for you guys this is like for your spread that's what i'm getting for you guys in pile number four is like you guys need to do some spring cleaning but you're doing some spring cleaning off the premises that or is premises the word for it we'll pretend it is you guys are doing the spring cleaning for the reasoning that like there's abundance coming your way we have the gibbous moon talking about you're very close to achieving your goal and to just hold your vision the fixed moon so it's like you guys are in plus with the waxing moon now that i'm like looking at it because the waxing moon also talks about the energies gaining momentum just this trifecta here you know this trifecta is telling me that you guys are doing this spring cleaning right now because you're making space for a lot of good you're making space for new furniture new like whatever it is that it is that it is in your life right now so maybe um releasing some people in your life or maybe releasing uh, just whatever it is that you need to release. You know, it's up to you for you to decide and figure out what it is that you need to release. You need to look through, connect to your intuition and allow spirit to help guide you in this process. You know, I feel like a lot of people with the lover's card, this, the lover's card not only represents like the literal sense of just like a love life, but um, also it's talking about the need of making a decision as well but like continuing on with it i feel as if like you guys right now for you guys are because with the ten of swords i feel like you guys are in a place where you guys are feeling extremely frustrated you guys are feeling extremely frustrated because it's like you feel as if you 
you're frustrated with a situation right now or like a situation is going to come to you where you're just feeling so frustrated and when you're feeling frustrated you're going to just like kind of shut down well i'm not saying that's what you're going to do but like the spirit's trying to say is like don't shut down during this time instead of shutting down ask yourself what is it that you need to release if you don't know what it is that you need to release connect to your intuition and allow then your intuition to help guide you during this time um, because you also have the two of wands, we have the two of wands. I feel like something fell through for you guys recently, or something is going to be falling through for you where you feel that's where like this 10 of swords energy, if you can't relate to this 10 of swords energy right now, something is in my eye y'all. <laughs> um, but if you can't relate to this 10 of swords energy right now, it's like, I feel like not to be a omen, <laughs> um, but I feel like something might be falling through for you guys where it's like maybe like a project just isn't panning out or like you didn't get that promotion at your job or maybe like a job rejected you. Um, yeah, that's what the two, inverted uh, two of wands kind of represents is just things just like overall like things are just not panning out and that, that's I'm getting like a sense of frustration from that. And so again, during this time, each time you're dealing with like this frustration, each time you're dealing with a new obstacle, you need to constantly ask yourself, what does it ask? Like ask yourself, what do you need to release? Take this as a sign from the universe of saying, she's like, okay, like this is a sign that I need to release something. This is a sign that I need to do something, clean things up. You know, just really connect to your intuition right now. Paired also with the chameleon card talking about staying in the background and to adapt to the situa situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. So you have two different cards here talking about and asking you to come to the terms that you can't change these events. These obstacles that are going to be coming into your life, you can't change it. And so if you, this project that fell through, it was meant to be like you like this that's part of the process for you this project is felt like falling through for you this thing is falling through for you for a reason and it's asking you to release something this is part of the process and so rather than taking this as a bad sign take this as a positive sign and don't take be frustrated that it happened don't feel don't internalize this project failing or falling through or this deal falling through as a negative or as a sign that you're on the wrong path because you're not. This is a sign for you to really accept, the, take things for face value, accept that it happened and allow it to change the course of where you need to allow it to redirect you or direct you in the way that you need to go. Accept the fact that it happened instead of being frustrated, instead of lashing out maybe, or instead of internalizing it, go with the flow and be like, okay, this is here to show me something. If it doesn't make sense to you, connect to your intuition, um, connect to spirit. Maybe they can help give you some clarity and give you a sense of direction, but make the decision to really start clearing things out in your life. And just remember, you know, throughout all of this, I want you to guys to remember these three moon cards talking about how you're so close to achieving your goal, even if something's falling through right now, it, it doesn't matter. You're so close to it. The, that thing falling through was meant to be. And so when it may feel like that thing that fell through, was going to be the thing that el like elevated your career or is was going to be like what changed your life or something for the thing that like you've been working your entire life for that you've been trying to manifest for so long and that falling through just means that like it's just not going to work out for you absolutely not it's just you to help you realize what you need to release because you guys are so close to achieving your goal the energy is gaining momentum don't feel frustrated because of this, of this thing falling through, because the fixed moon is t asking you to hold your vision. So this is a affirmation for you guys that like you are on the right path. Don't be frustrated, don't quit just because this fell through. Take it as a sign th from spirit that, <laughs> you know, to make some space. Take it as a sign from spirit that they're trying to teach you something. And that's really the overall messages that I have for you guys in pile number four. Like, I don't want you guys to take this as like a negative at all. Like, this is such a positive reading for you guys. You know, I really hope that this reading provides to be like, provides some clarity and a sense of direction for you guys and just gives you some affirmation. You know, if this, the, like, if you guys already had like this deal fall through, um, take this reading as a sign of just being like trusting the process. But if like, if it's to come for you guys, 
soon, which I feel like it is going to be coming to you guys for, for some of you guys in panel number four, um, where something just falls through, I want you to reference this reading, come back to this reading, and remember, it's just like, oh, Velko told me that's this that this was going to happen, and so don't take it as a negative. It can seem like a negative at face value, but when you like take a step back, take the emotion out of it, you realize she's like, oh, you know, I knew this was going to happen. I, be, but t and take that also as a sign of letting you know that your exit's coming up. You know, <laughs> because it's like you're so close to your goal. So once that thing, once that deal, whenever it happens, or if it already happened, um, where it just falls through, or this like whatever project it is, take that as a sign, being like, oh, that was my exit sign, letting me know my exit's coming up. Because like again, with the gibbous moon, this is talking about you're so close to achieving your goal, like you're so close to it. And so just hold your vision, you guys. Like things are going to really pan out for you guys, I promise you. And so, yeah, that is the message, overall message that I have for you guys is just hold your vision, don't get frustrated, and to really allow this to be a, allow these things that are happening to you to be as a learning lesson and to help you clear out the things that you need to clear out because you guys are so close to, to your goal. <laughs> like that's what, you, like all these cards are just giving you such an affirmation that you're on the right path. You guys are so close to it. You guys just need to keep it going. Just don't get frustrated. Don't feel defeated. Accept the fact that you can't change it and just keep it moving, you guys. Like I promise you, like I promise you, I promise you, like things are going to start really looking up for you guys. But that is the message that I have for you guys in pound number four. If this reading did resonate with you, please let me know in the comments down below. And also, give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. But until next time, you guys, bye.